Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here then welcome on in. If you'd be so kind and hit that sub button it would mean the absolute world to me. So Disney Dreamlight Valley's Jungle Getaway is arriving today and we can finally go and meet Timon and Pumbaa and I cannot wait, seriously cannot wait. So they have done their little blog post with their patch notes so we're going to check out those today. So it does say, hey Valley Villagers, we hope you enjoyed the recent developer update video with our next content update. It's about time to dig into the patch notes. Not only will we be returning to a familiar realm for a new adventure in the new light, but we've also got a stunning calibration coming to the game and a bunch of new quality of life improvements that draw upon all important player feedback. Disney Dreamlight Valley's Jungle Getaway arrives today, so let's check out these patch notes. So the new content that is available to all players so we can return to Disney Dreamlight Valley's Lion King realm and experience the realm in a new light with a day and night cycle. <gasps> so we're going to get a day and night cycle in the realm? Oh my goodness, that's going to be so amazing. New quests and new friends. Speaking of, there is two new characters to embrace the equal parts of relaxation and antics as Timon and Pumbaa from Disney's The Lion King arrives to the valley alongside new friendship quests and unique new items. Yes, a new star path. Turn your valley into a music festival with the night show star path featuring furniture that will literally help you set the stage. A rock star turtle companion as well as clothing inspired by Disney villains, Disney princesses, and rock music. Nice. Dress to impress, dig into an exciting calibration with Loungefly, in which recreations of Loungefly statement-making backpacks will arrive in the game across the Star Path premium shop and social media. So keep an eye out for more details on launch day. So they've already um, released one code for the glow in the dark backpack so i will leave the code to that down in the description down below you can't redeem the code until after the update is here so just bear that in mind if you are trying to type in the code already it's not going to work as of yet prepare your pumpkins the trick or treat in-game event returns to the valley from october 23rd to the 31st featuring a brand new reward which is what i did go over in yesterday's video Weekly rotations to look forward to, keep an eye out for new optional items in the premium shop alongside some returning favourites, as well as a new weekly dream snap challenge and rewards. Okay, so there's nothing new on that, that, that happens every single week. New shipment alert, Scrooge McDuck store has received a brand new batch of goods for sale including additional realm decor. I can't wait to see what this additional realm decor is. I'm still waiting for those blimmy mushrooms. Anybody got them? I need them. Adjusted available moonstone packs to induce a new option that includes both moonstones and seasonal valley inspired cosmetic items. This pack will be offered for a limited time and different seasonal cosmetic items may be offered with future updates. Okay. I mean, they could have reduced the Moonstone packs, maybe would have been a better option. I mean, we'll check this out when the update arrives and see what this is going to cost. Also to note, with this new Moonstone pack, it is not available for the Disney Dreamlight Valley Arcade Edition. So it doesn't come with the Seasonal Star Path or the Premium Shop. Improvements available to all players. So this is to do with controls. So they've added a toggle to the set-in. Control menu to select between two different camera control methods when using a gamepad in edit mode. Players will be able to select between an option that's akin to the game's original free-flowing control style and a new hybrid approach that locks the cursor to the center of the screen while also giving the ability to move freely by holding a button. That sounds pretty awesome. I will be testing that out on my Steam Deck and possibly the Switch. Please note the control method selection will only apply to the outdoor areas. Edit mode while in the player's houses will default to the original control style. Okay. They've also added a toggle to the settings. Control menu to select between two different sprinting control methods. When using gamepad, allowing players to revert to the previous button mapping or the updated button left bumper introduced in the last update oh my goodness i know so many people were struggling 
with the change in the sprinting. I know for me personally, because I, I have rheumatoid arthritis, so having the left bumper and trying to move the cameras was quite difficult for me. So I'm quite happy that we've now got the option to either have the left bumper or not have the left bumper. So that's pretty awesome. They've added a toggle to the settings. So gameplay menu to enable a tap to sprint control option, allowing players to start and stop sprinting at the press of a button without needing to hold it. Okay, that one. Okay, so if the left, if I leave it a left bumper, I've only got to press it once to sprint and then once again to not sprint. I'm happy with that. That's cool. I like that one. Added full support for wireless controllers on Steam without requiring Steam input to be enabled. If you have not previously adjusted this option, the game will now default to built-in support our recommendation and can be adjusted as needed in the settings control menu. Okay, cool. So that's pretty cool for the controller settings then. So there's going to be a little bit more of an option for us um, to be able to deal with. Scrooge Mudduck store will now display furniture items in place of empty clothing mannequins, including the window displays. I cannot wait for this. Literally, I cannot wait to see my shop. I'm probably going to have to wait until tomorrow um, to be able to see this, but I cannot wait to start seeing things in my shop windows again and not having those sold signs everywhere. I'm really, really happy about this one. Dream Snap and Photo Mode added a skip button to the Dream Snap's voting screen, allowing players to skip up to 10 votes per day. Okay, cool. Added the ability for avatars to hold hand accessories, umbrellas, and royal tools while in photo mode. Just get a round of applause for that one. Finally, we can hold things in our hands while in photo mode this is going to be a game changer for dream snaps and our photos i cannot wait this is going to be so cool so all of those items that have been in the premium shop that have hand accessories i've not been buying because there was just no use for them whatsoever i never used umbrellas or anything like that or the bags so okay i need to buy them now okay i hope they come back in the premium shop soon because i need to buy them now so we can now have them in our hand while taking a photo which is awesome the premium shop has added a new recommended section in the premium shop which will feature four additional items or bundles each week the contents of this selection will differ from player to player based on their premium shop interests Ooh, interesting so each week people are going to get different items mm, i'm not sure about that one let me know in the comments down below of what you think about this one a recommended section for the premium shop. Let me know. I'm going to have to wait and see what it looks like and what it entails. They've also added the ability to equip wearable wings as a glider in the wardrobe. Oh, cool. All wings currently available in the game will be equipable this way, replacing the surfer glider animation with a fluttering animation. More fitting of wings. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness my butterfly heart is just like skipped a beat right then i'm so oh my goodness i can't wait to see that later oh that's gonna be amazing added the ability to track your process on individual dreamlight duties star path duties as well as the collection of materials and crafting recipes via an on-screen quest tracker ka-ching oh my goodness i'm so excited for that so now when we're doing our dreamlight duties or our star path duties, we can now track them and see them on screen. So I haven't got to go back into the menu and find out what we need to do next. Yes, it's confirmed. It is going to track star path duties and dreamlight duties. Awesome. There's also been a various UI improvements made to the star path menu. Okay, I guess we're going to have to check that out a little bit later. And then there is a bunch of top changes and bug fixes which goes on a lot of the quests and various items, making walls invisible still. Some people are still having that issue. Um, they have all been fixed now. What I will do is with all of the bug issues, I will leave this blog post in the description down below so you guys can have a look to see whether any of your bug fixes have been fixed or whatever because the list is literally huge. So hopefully yours have been fixed. 
but oh my goodness, I cannot wait for this update. It's going to be amazing. What is the first thing that you are going to do when this update drops? Are you just going to go straight to the realm and go and get Timon and Pumbaa? Or are you going to check out a couple of the quality of life features first? Let me know in the comments down below. We've just got literally a couple of hours left until this update drops and I cannot wait. If you would like to come and join me live, I will be live over on Twitch. My Twitch link is in the description down below. We're going to be live checking this out. If you don't want to come and join us, you're more than welcome. But yeah, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy update day. I know I definitely will be. Thank you so very much for watching. If you would be so kind and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so and I will see you all in my next video. Have the most wonderful rest of your day guys. Bye!